there's a lot of things today that we need to make with cleaner resources. And so it's just fundamentally interesting to us to find reactions that we can drive using clean electric power. Well, researchers at the University of Oregon are working on a new, greener way to make iron, and it could change the way steel is produced around the world. Traditional methods rely on coal-powered blast furnaces, but the UO team uses electrochemistry to turn salt water, something the Northwest has a lot of, and iron oxide into pure iron with no fossil fuels required. Iron and steel are everywhere you look, buildings, vehicles, bridges, but the traditional process of making the iron used to make steel accounts for roughly 11% of global carbon emissions. And scientists say finding a cleaner way to make it could have an impact similar to converting every gas vehicle to electric. In their initial breakthrough last year, the team proved the process could work in a lab. Here's Andrew Goldman on how they did it. We actually use essentially a, a powder that we suspend in a liquid. And so most other electrochemical systems use dissolved species. You know, you think about you put a sugar cube in your coffee, you stir it around and you could run it through a strainer and you're not going to get any sugar out because it's totally dissolved. Whereas if you think about um, if you have a cup of coffee and you put a spoonful of sand, you could stir it around and the sand will be, you know, suspended. But if you come back in five minutes, the sand is all going to be at the bottom of your coffee cup. And so that's kind of like what we're doing. We're using a, it's much smaller than sand, but we are using particles that don't dissolve. But they did run into a problem. The larger they scaled this experiment, the more those particles settled in irregular ways, which is not great for making iron and steel. So there was a long way to go to bring the research to the industry. But now the team has answered a critical question. Can this new greener process work using the kinds of raw iron ore that exists in the real world and not just special lab materials? The short answer, yes. And the researchers found that the type of iron material matters a lot. In fact, they found one kind that works more efficiently and cost effectively. And that insight could help make their process more competitive competitive with traditional methods, and that determines whether or not a plant built on the tech could turn a profit. I sort of would have expected that um, no one currently in the business of uh, making iron using coal or natural gas would want to hear anything about um, what we're trying to do with an alternate and probably a little bit crazy approach, but generally they're really excited. Um, I think the writing is on the wall to a lot of people that there's demand for materials that are made in a clean way or materials that are made without emitting carbon dioxide. And it's not just global emissions that could benefit. The UO team is partnering with civil engineers at Oregon State University, ducks and beavers together to explore how their process might fit into the Northwest's own infrastructure and manufacturing future. There's a huge amount of unused capacity in the Northwest right now of shuttered aluminum plants that have all the right grid connections, all the right resources that you'd need to make iron at those plants. And then you'd be doing it at a lower temperature and with less um, emissions coming from the plants. The team recently filed to patent their process and are developing new prototypes. Now, the lab is working with industry partners to build out the new generation of green iron making reactors. Their hope is to someday scale the process up into entire plants that are clean, efficient, and fossil fuel free. If successful, the new approach could shift how the world thinks about heavy industry and give the Pacific Northwest a seat at the table in shaping a greener future. The UO team recently received over $700,000 in federal funding to continue their work. They're now focused on making the process work with more common, lower quality iron ore, the kind that's easier to find, but harder to process into usable iron and steel.